February, March 2023, Paper 2, Question 1. In Table 1.1, the electronegativity values of the hydrogen, lithium, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, they are all given. Okay. A Part 1, define electronegativity, power of an atom to attract bonding electron to itself. It's better to put bonding electron. So these are uh, always the elements to attract the bonding electrons to themselves. For example, we have hydrogen and chlorine. Chlorine is more electronegative. So chlorine, it will withdraw an electron toward itself okay, through the bonding electrons. Part 2. Oxygen and sulfur, they are group 16. Explain the difference in the electronegativity. They are same, 16, but different period. We know that oxygen, second period, sulfur is the period 3. So period 2 and period 3, their different is uh, one electron shell. Sulfur is, has one more electron shells than the oxygen. So therefore, we know that oxygen has lesser electron shell, lesser shielding. Okay, so let's look at this uh, statement. Oxygen has lower nuclear charge than sulfur. Lower nuclear charge is not really means that the attraction is weaker. Sometimes we have to consider the shielding effects. Shielding effect play a very important role uh, on this electronegativity. Okay, oxygen has lower nuclear charge or proton number than sulfur. This is true. However, oxygen has one electron shell lesser than sulfur. And therefore, oxygen has less shielding. And the attraction of the nucleus towards the bonding electron is stronger. So less shielding means the nuclear charge can act on the bonding electrons okay, much better than sulfur. Uh, that, that's the comparison. Uh. So uh, less shielding effect, greater attractions. Lithium hydride okay, is ionic compound. Draw dot cost diagram of LIH. Include all electrons. Uh, this one even the inner electrons you need to show because it say all electron so lithium the inner electrons the two electrons you must show okay. the valence electron of lithium already donated to the hydrogen so the cross and hydrogen is a dot lithium okay it has one electron shell remains that's 1s2. So these two electrons, you also need to uh, show it. Okay, of course, with the charge positive and negative and the square bracket uh, for both species. Suggest so the shape of this H2s. Okay, first you need to know central atom is sulfur. Sulfur is, has two bonding pair and two lone pair. The repulsion of the lone pair is much greater than the bonding pair. So it will compress the bond angle. But the bond angle is not really the concern now. The concern is the shape. So how it looks like. Okay, you have to understand lone pair is invisible. What we can see is just the atoms. Not really physically we can see like it just uh, uh, Lone pair is uh, not included in the shape. So therefore, we know that it's non-linear. Nowadays, uh, when it's a uh, V-shape or, or band, you just uh, put non-linear. It's better. Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, okay, non-linear. Okay, hope you understand. C part 1. Write equations that represent the first 
ionization energy of hydrogen. Uh, this one you must show the the state symbol because uh, whenever they ask the first equation of the first ionization energy or second, the state is very important. So it must be gases atom. Gases atom form gases ion, and you must show the state the gas and release one electrons. Okay, part two. Explain why there is no information given in table 1.1 for second IE of hydrogen because hydrogen is just one S1, one electrons only. When it's removed, the only electron, so no electrons in the uh, hydrogen. So, therefore, okay, it will not really give any second IE value, right. Okay, because hydrogen has one electron only. Give the full part three. Give the full electronic configuration of the uh, S two positive. Okay, first you must uh, at least know how the atoms electron configurations looks like. Sulfur is one S two two S two two P six three S two three P four. Okay, so electrons must remove from three P four. So two electrons remove, two remain. That's why it become 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. Carbon dioxide and the sulfur dioxide, they are acidic gas. Okay, write in equations for the reactions of SO2 with water. Okay, this is very easy. Uh, if they ask this symbol, you just give uh, this text symbol. SO2 gas with water, H2O liquid, from the sulfonic acid, H2SO3. Aqueous. Okay, this is what happens when sulfur dioxide dissolves in water and reacts. And write in part two, write in equations for the reactions of the SO2 with NaOH. Just now is SO2 with water, now is SO2 with NaOH. If you have a difficulties uh, to construct the equation, you can uh, use this method. So SO2 before it reacts with NaOH, it will react with water from sulfonic acid. And the sulfonic acid that produced will further react with the sodium hydroxide and it will form the salt, sodium sulfide and the water. Okay, then after that you can combine the two equations make it an overall equation so com after you combine this one should be eliminated this one should be eliminated this one remains one and therefore you just sum up left to left right to right you get SO2 plus 2 NaOH form the Na2SO3 with H2O Okay, part 3. Construct an equation for the reaction of CO2 with magnesium hydroxide. Uh, you can do the similar uh, way for the CO2. Okay, CO2, before it reacts with the magnesium hydroxide, the CO2 will react with water first. So it will form the carbonic acid, H2CO3. The H2CO3 that produced, now it further reacts with the hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide from the magnesium carbonate and water. Okay, then you need to sum up these two equations to get an overall equation. So the acid will be eliminated, water also get eliminated. So the remaining is CO2 plus magnesium hydroxide from magnesium carbonate and water. That's how you get the equation. If you can do it straight away, it's all right. If you wonder how, this is how you get it. Okay, E part one. Complete the table 1.2 and choose which one it will have overall dipole moment. So means which one the net dipole is not zero. So for this CO2, we know that the 
oxygen will pull electron toward itself and because oxygen and oxygen okay they are the same element so the the pooling is means the dipole moments that produce is actually equal so means it's going to be like cancel out then the net dipole for co2 is zero net dipole zero then is a non-polar molecules okay so therefore we don't choose this one because this one no dipole moment no net dipole okay so for so2 uh, you need to know the how uh, his, his structures looks like so2 is looks like this one long pair and it has two double bonds surrounding it so the electrons will move to oxygen and of course the lone pair also is has certain dipole moment and now the dipole moment it cannot be cancelled out so the net dipole is not zero so you should choose this one so this one if you if you has its own dipole moment how much we don't know huh? because not really given okay so for this cs2 cs2 you just need to imagine is just like co2 because oxygen and sulfur they are group 16 so it will just like the co2 is a linear molecule and it has no overall dipole moment so this one because the sulfur and oxygen confirm they have different electron negativity so the net dipole must be there so here will be more dipole moment here will be lesser so at the end the net dipole is there so you must choose so2 and the sco okay so for part two uh, temperature is given pressure is given so the gram of one of the compounds uh, uh, given 0 0.284 occupied this volume use all this information to calculate the molar mass okay this is very very obvious that you need to use combined gas law PV equal to NRT okay make sure you use all the standard unit for this combined gas law temperature must be Kelvin so the pressure must be Pascal okay gram just gram cm cube need to convert to meter cube okay after that you have to make sure know how to derive the the formula okay PV equal to NRT we know that the N is mass over molar mass so molar mass therefore is equal to MRT over PV substitute all the values okay, that mentioned in the question 0 0.284 times the gas constant 8.31 times the temperature 150 plus 273 over 103000 times 127 okay, times 10 power negative 6 so this one is in meter cube already okay. at the end you should get 76.3 so the identity of the compound of course is cs2 okay which meet the mass that calculated just now okay that's all thank you